An unusually large amount of puppies were discovered in squalid conditions at a Hopkinton home today. The RISPCA took the dogs back to their shelter, which is where we find 12 News reporter Jake Holter with the details. Jake? Well, we're told more than 20 Golden Retriever puppies and nine adults were rescued from terrible living conditions. RISPCA agents responded to a cruelty complaint at a home on Alton Bradford Road in Hopkinton on Friday due to the number of animals and reported conditions. It was dirty and smelly. Uh, I don't think people who attempt to breed animals in their homes recognize how much work puppies are. Wayne Kazarian, president of the RISPCA, says the dogs were in desperate need of cleaning up. A neighbor we spoke to says he barely knew the owner, but still couldn't believe the amount of dogs found inside the home. I knew he had the adult dogs because he kept them um, out in a pen all the time, but I didn't know he had the puppies in the house. It was a health hazard. They took, they took like 20 puppies out of his house. Kazarian says it became evident that it was an in-home animal breeding situation, which does require licensing. He says he was surprised by how cooperative the owner was. It's actually very unusual to get a positive response from the owner breeder. Uh, this was a particularly good situation for us because if it's a situation where we have to take official action, seize the animals, then they are in the legal system just as the uh, defendant in the criminal case would be. And we were able to avoid that in this case because we had a cooperative uh, dog owner who recognized that uh, he needed some help. <laughs> Kazarian says while the dogs are under the care of the RISPCA, they will need socialization and treatment, including vaccinations, and will be spayed and neutered. He says the adults will likely be placed with volunteer foster families before being available for adoption in three to six months. The puppies, however, should be available in the next four to six weeks. And Kazarian says the owner will not face any charges as he cooperated and willfully turned the dogs over. Reporting in Warwick, Jake Holter, 12 News.